guys, welcome to the very first episode of Trash to Treasure. Today we're making a DIY haunted house made of almost entirely trash. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's get started. So to start off, you want to get an idea of what kind of shape you want your house to be. You can do that by looking at lots of pictures online of different haunted houses. Once you have your general shape in mind, assemble all your cardboard trash. Cereal boxes are particularly useful because they're nice and tall. I've cut out the top and bottom of the boxes so you can see right through them. I'm roughly sketching out where I want my windows and doors to be, and then cut them out using a Stanley knife and ruler. So I've cut everything out, and I've also cut out a thicker piece of cardboard to use as a balcony. Now I'm ready to glue everything together using hot glue. I then made a balcony and a porch using more thicker cardboard. To make the bricks, I'm cutting out pieces of styrofoam and then sticking them on using craft glue as it's a little cheaper than using hot glue. Crinkle up some kitchen foil and dent it into the styrofoam to make more of a texture. Using thinner cardboard for more food packaging boxes, I've cut them into strips and stuck them down with craft glue. I covered the porches, all the balconies and all the walls. I found these images on Google Images, printed them off and stuck them inside. Here's what I have so far with all the walls covered in cardboard strips and the images stuck down. For the windows you want to take some plastic product packaging and cut them to shape. Then you need a sheet of sticky back paper and cut them to thin strips to make the window panels. To frame my windows, I'm using popsicle sticks, some of these little sticks that you can get at the craft store or dollar store, some food skewers, and some of these thicker skewers which you can get at the dollar store. You can cut them to the right size using pliers. I'm using card for any curved windows. To make the curtains, I used some old fabric and painted it black. I'm using more card to make the roof. You may want to use thicker card depending on how big the roof is. I stuck on tiles that I made out of thin card. I've also stuck down skewers to the walls and the roof just to make it look prettier. For the balcony, I used these little food sticks that I found at the dollar store and some old makeup brushes, although I wish I used chopsticks. And this thing which I found on a keychain to put on top of the roof. I don't think acrylic paint is gonna stick to these very well, so I added a coat of spray paint first. So now the house is ready to be painted, I'm using acrylic paint. I'm just gonna paint really quickly all over the house in dark colors. I'm not worrying too much about making it perfect because we're gonna be adding more colors to it. So once my base coat is done, I'm just taking a little bit of paint on my brush and lightly painting over my base coat to get this kind of effect. If you get any paint on your plastic windows, just use a pencil to scrape it off. Here I'm using a sponge. added spookiness, I bought these little bracelet charms. I got these on eBay and I'm sticking them on with hot glue. And I made a little gargoyle out of polymer clay. You may want to make a door or leave it open as I did on purpose so you can put a phone or tablet in there and play some spooky ghost loops which I found on YouTube. The scarier the better I say, how awesome is that? 
that's my haunted house all done. I just have to do the garden, which I might post another tutorial for. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.